Hi, and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about Veremity's approach to killing fleas and ticks. How uh, we hate them. You know everybody hates fleas and ticks. Uh, dogs don't like them, cats are not particularly fond of them, and in our experience our clients aren't really happy when the fleas and ticks are around either. So we want to explore the most effective ways to take care of these parasites. To be clear, our biggest concern these days is probably more uh, with ticks. Fleas aren't nice to have around. They cause skin irritation, itching, flea allergy reactions. There's quite a few things not to like about fleas. But ticks right now are the larger problem as far as we're concerned because they can transmit Lyme disease, which in certain situations can be fatal. We're now seeing some anaplasmosis working into our area, Ehrlichia. So there's some diseases that really make it so that the ticks, being, uh, not only being ugly, uh, they can be a really large healthcare concern for our pets. So we're going to review some of the different ways that we can take care of these pests. Uh, some of the things that don't work because we really want to make sure that you're not using something that uh, is ineffective. Some of the things that we think work best. And then uh, focus in the end on the three things that we recommend here at the Veremity Pet Hospital and help you decide which of those three would work best for your pet. So to start, let's make sure that we're not using something that we know is ineffective. We're going to have to use some sort of a chemical in order to kill fleas and ticks. I have told people for years, I really wish brewer's yeast and garlic worked. It doesn't. Uh, or if it does, yes, there'll be every now and again, someone will tell me about a pet that remains flea or tick free with brewer's yeast and garlic. But that happens so infrequently uh, that to rely upon that as our way that we're going to prevent Lyme disease from occurring uh, is just not a great way to go. So we're never going to recommend brewer's yeast and garlic as the way to get rid of fleas and ticks. Some of the other things that are ineffective or mildly effective but not effective enough for us to recommend. The older flea and tick collars, uh, they're just not effective. For years and years in the examination room, we've just taken fleas and ticks off of animals that are wearing uh, the old-fashioned flea and tick collars. We'll talk a little bit more today about some of the other products that are on the market, but the old-fashioned flea and tick collars are just not to be relied upon the frontline wannabes. You're going to find that you can save some money by buying products that say that they have the active ingredient in frontline. That's key and you need to pay attention to what they're saying because what they say is they have the active ingredient. Not the two active ingredients, the active ingredient. So there's a whole bunch of products on the market that say that they have fipronil in them. They don't necessarily have the exact formulation as frontline. Some of these products can be effective, but in our mind, if, they're, if they either cost more or don't have both products, they're not worth looking at as far as being a dependable way that we can take care of fleas and ticks on your pet. Some of the other products that we know can be less than effective are sadly the less expensive uh, flea and tick products that are available at some of the larger box stores. I would love it if these products worked. We don't want you to have to spend money that doesn't get what we need. But to spend less money on a product that is less effective also doesn't make any medical sense for your pet either. And so to be clear, some of the products that are available at, at the box stores just aren't going to be as effective. Other things that don't work, and we really want to make sure that you understand that. There's a product on the market, it's an excellent product for certain things, but it does not kill ticks, and that's called Revolution. Revolution is effective against fleas. Revolution is effective against a single species of tick, but it's not the tick that causes Lyme disease. Uh, and so in our mind, Revolution is not an effective way for us to deal with our flea and our tick problem. To be clear, we want to use a product that's 100% effective. However, we don't have 100% effective products. Doesn't matter whether we're talking about Frontline, Advantix, Vectra 3D, uh, Activil, any of these products uh, are capable of killing ticks, can do a good job killing ticks. The question is, uh, can they do it reliably, consistently, and for nearly the entire 30 days that they say that they do it? None of them can do it effectively 100% of the time. So we have to pick the ones that we think just work best in our area. So what is effective? 
So most of the chemicals that we use to take care of flea and ticks now are actually products that were developed to be sprayed on our food. Almost all of these chemicals were designed to kill pests in agricultural situations, and then they were extended to be used uh, on our pets to kill fleas and ticks. So some of these products are safer than others, and in our mind what we want to choose is the safest product that takes care of the uh, parasites most effectively, and then we'll look at cost as well as the final parameter to make a decision as to what you should choose to use.